Okay, I'm here with Quentin. We're on West Seattle and we're going to go geocaching again for our sixth geocaching vlog, my sixth geocaching vlog. We're right near our first geocache. It's right up there. Somewhere around here. It, it is a difficulty 3.5 and a terrain 1.5. So, this looks like a pretty terrain 1.5 area. What'd you say? Okay, let's look. Not up there. Oh, inside the parking lot. Wait, where's the parking lot? There? Nothing. GPS leads me around here. So, we've been looking for this for a while and we have a lot more geocaches to do today. We don't want to lose track of time like we did last time. So we're gonna go to the next one and post the DNF, unfortunately. Yeah, we have to post the DNF. I hate posting DNFs. I know he does too, yeah. Well, we have more geocaches to do and we simply cannot waste time on this one. On to the next one. sock on there, ew. And we're running to the next geocache because why not? Exactly. We need to keep going. Hopefully so we can find some way easier geocaches. I don't think we have the time for a 3.5 today. Too bad. If you're watching this, Annie Oregon, thank you for the cache, although we did not find it. Okay, so we're really close to the next geocache, right there. Uh, the GPS is leading me right under here. Time to look. Difficulty 2.5. Wait. This one's a bit easier, but still. Here is the log book. Are your fingers covering the camera? I'm favoriting it. I don't care, mm -hmm. it was amazing. And now we're off to our next geocache. Yep. It's Let's right go. over there. Hello! Okay, crossing the street without a crosswalk. It's a difficulty 1.5, so I'd assume that's right there. Okay, there's a walk. Uh, another lock. Okay, the hint was lock your car and get it, which means that I looked here, but then I looked up. Yo. Guys, I have 49 finds. One more geocache find. He's gonna get a fifth cat. Hey, cat. Hi, suspicious other children than myself. This next geocache is at the West Seattle Nursery, a geocache that Quentin here has looked for. <gasps> What? A geocache, <laughs> that Quint a geocache that Quentin has looked for twice before. He looked for it once, messaged the owner for a hint, got a hint, and then looked for it again, but still couldn't find it. So we're gonna see if we can find it or just leave another DNF, what do you think? <laughs> Evidently, he thinks we're gonna... <laughs> the geocache, so let's see. Okay, so this geocache is a difficulty 1.5, which means that it's really easy, and somehow this guy couldn't find it, but he could find a difficulty 2.5. Okay, so we're almost here at the geocache. Quentin defends himself by saying that he was a new geocacher at the time that he DNF'd this. I was, I, I was only like two weeks into geocaching, I sucked at it. Two weeks into geocaching, I found difficulty 4.5s. Where could this geocache be? Next. I'm actually thinking it could be over here. I just read a recent log that said TFTC with a rock emoji, which makes me think that yes. I just found it. Okay, what big milestone did you just hit? The big 50, let's go. Always time to stop for a dog, like you said in the first ever geocaching vlog. That's the earbuds in. You can see. Okay. So the geocache should be right, oh, there it is. Immediate find, and that's a 1.5. Guess how long it took you to find the 1.5. I like those. Okay, so just across the street is this next geocache, and we both know where it's gonna be. Look at that. Oh, I found it before you. I saw it, and then you just. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't litter. Trust me, I don't litter. Yeah, go back to the clip where you littered in the last episode. What? Sky looks pretty nice. 
At least there are no trucks to get the scenery away. Look at that scenery. Oh, my stabilization is terrible. It's still 600 feet from where you are. What? Look at the stepping stones. I'm actually using these. I don't know why, but they're nice. And I like them. He's going the wrong direction. Meanwhile, oh. I'm going the right direction. Oh, look. oh, he thought he found the geocache. How cute. Got it. Really what did you just find? A string. And it goes up there, so as he pulls on the string, all that moves. But who cares, because we already got the geocache. There's no point in doing that. He's in the middle of the road. Uh, Car. Now we're on to the next geocache, and uh, it's kind of getting repetitive. I wish there was kind of a change, but I like it because we found every single one except for the first one. Yeah. Okay, so judging by the GPS, the geocache is over there. Sick. Look at this container. It. We found something different finally. Not as repetitive, so we like that. Okay, it? so we are just going down this hill for the next geocache. It is very beautiful and we should probably stick to the side of the road. Okay, so this is actually a very beautiful walk. It is. Uh, down what I hope is a public road. We just saw a guy with his three dogs. We told him about geocaching. I think he knew what geocaching was. That view is nice. I like this road. Okay, so the geocache is somewhere around here. And you know that half? Oh, what if it's under again? That would make, oh, there it is. I just dropped it. Fate bolt. Okay, so we just found that geocache and now we're headed back. Hopefully we'll be able to do some if we take a different route back. So let's go. Okay, next geocache is in 200 feet. And the coordinates lead to the middle of the road, which makes me think, yeah, it's up that barrier. That's kind of hard to see. But yeah, so I'm right here. I think I might have just found it. Nope. No, I did not. Let's keep looking. I don't think it was over there, so I'm going to look over here now. It's probably somewhere around here. Look at this. I actually found this one also. Another one of these, two in a row. Nine finds and one DNF. So let's keep going. I love West Seattle, it's so beautiful. Okay, the geocache, GPS is pointing me right over there. And it's my goal to find every geocache before Quentin, so here we go. Found it. Old Eagle sighting. So the next geocache, our last geocache for the day is right over there. We are arriving at our last geocache for the day. And I, of course, found it. Bye, Sean. Bye, Quentin. Okay, so today we ended the day off with 11 finds and one DNF. How did you like that? 